Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We trust that you're having a wonderful afternoon this far. Now, in 2016, Donna Oakes had just moved with her family into a new home in Cape Town when robbers broke in and stole everything. Now, fueled by anger, Donna went into a local fo informal settlement when she went to go and look for her stolen goods. But what she found changed her life forever. Now, after seeing the struggle of kids living there, Donna felt an overwhelming need to help. And this led to the formation of her NGO, Alms of Love. Welcome to the show, Donna. Thank you. Donna, I can only <laughs> imagine the, the, the feeling of betrayal when you're living in an area where you feel trusted, you feel secure, you've got your entire family there and then nightmare hits. Can you just talk us through that evening and what happened? Absolutely. So it was a Friday evening and it was nothing different from the normal Friday evening. Kids went to bed and I was sleeping in uh, the lounge just watching movies and the following morning when we woke up I realized the garage was open and all our goods were taken. Our business items that I bought for the business was taken, suitcases, everything was just gone. So naturally we had just moved into the property and I was obviously devastated, more angry than devastated because I felt violated. Yeah. Yeah. So. But as if that's not scary enough, you then go into an informal <laughs> settlement. Yep. Did, what were you hoping was going to happen? I'm a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. <like that>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit cray cray. So I, my husband, obviously knew that something was up when I said, I just need to go. Let me, I just want to go to the shop. And he said. Oh, so you went alone? I went alone. Do you have a gun or? No, I've got attitude. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to the shop and he said, please don't go look for the stuff. And I'm like, no, don't worry, I oh, won't girl. go. And um, I think if I did not go, Arms of Love would not mm, have yeah. started. Mm. Um, so I'm glad that I went. I'm glad that I took that brave step. Um, because lives have changed mm -hmm. after that step. So, yes, something was taken from me, yeah. but I think what I've gained afterwards mm -hmm. definitely surpasses. But paint this picture for us. When you go into the informal settlement, what do you see? Like, and, and I want to see the picture of the contrast between your life and what these people were living like. In so, there were shacks. Um, kids running around that were dirty, clothing too small for them. There was a small fire burning because people need to be kept warm, um, dirty, very dirty. So it, it's, it's not, it's the normal shack kind of informal settlement. Not um, far away from your home. Not far away from our home, literally 500 meters away from where I stay. Wow. So that moved me was the fact that I'm living in my comfort, beautiful home, but just down the street from me, is this community that is affected by severe poverty and more so the kids because I'm a mother, so naturally that would affect me seeing kids not clothed properly, dirty. So that, yeah, that got to me. So when you walk in there, you see the situation, you see the circumstance, immediately your heart says, this is what I need to give back. So what are some of the things that you listed that you felt need to make to be changed in this community? Now you must know, prior to this, I'd never ever mm. started. You know, it was just like um, living my normal life. I, I had no clue as to how to start an NGO. All I needed, all I knew then was I need to give back. Wow. Um, I need to give back to this community. So I went back home, still with nothing, mm -hmm. because they never had the goods. And I told my husband, we cannot live just down the street from this community and not do anything. Mm -hmm. And literally we took five loaves of bread, um, went to the butcher, bought some poloni, made some tea, and went down to the informal settlement. So it's like very um, synonymous to the five loaves and, or the five, Two loves and five fishes, yes, five loves and two Bible. fishes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it was it was quite synonymous to that that I just, you know, decided to follow through on. So tell us a little bit about Arms of Love. And um, it's so interesting that it's A-L-M-S of yes. love and not arms. arms. Tell us a little bit about the name. So the, the arms is from the Bible. It's from a, a Bible story, story of Cornelius that gave to the poor. Mm -hmm. And the angel visited him and said that you are noticed by God because of your giving to the poor. So um, that I said, when I thought of a story, I thought arms. Um, it's very uh, synonymous, not synonymous, but um, kind of like yeah. 
like the story in the Bible, yeah. Cornelius yes, gave to the poor. Beautiful. So I thought, arms of love. So, and it's given from love yeah. also. Mm. What are some of the incredible stories that have come from the work that you do? And if our viewers want to get stuck in and get involved, how can they help? You know, from that um, Saturday, we have branched out to just helping wherever there's a need. Mm. So now we assist schools with, with lunch. Uh, we dropped it this morning, and that's where the real need is because my faith is quite large. I, wherever there's a need, we help. Um, the schools in Parkwood, the people that had supposedly, allegedly had taken my goods, we are now working in that area, serving lunch on a Sunday. Um, we're serving uh, lunch to the kids at the schools, 400 sandwiches. And that is where we really, there's a need over there because obviously we need to give costs. Mm. Um, we help with, with clothing donations. We help families in Freygron, Capricorn. So mm. these, it's, it's a, we help the homeless as yeah. well. So we're not just focusing on that informal settlement. Yeah. We've grown from there. Beautiful. And you know what's so amazing? I think you know the only thing that is going to change the status quo in the country and, and change the level of crime is if people do get help mm -hmm. and yes. if people aren't hungry anymore mm -hmm. and if people get a good education. Absolutely. Only that, when, people, when communities rise, yeah. that's when change happens. Absolutely. Thank you so much for all Thank the extraordinary you. work that you do. Thank all you of so your much. information will, of course, be on our website so that if anybody mm -hmm. is free and able to give any assistance to the Arms of Love, it'll be contributing to a really, really good cause. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so much. After the break, we meet another really inspiring woman from Cape Town who is giving up her evenings to help high school dropouts attain their matric certificates.